experience this often include an over use of alcohol and other drugs when this socialize you want to compete with others so you end up like losing focus um so here's the solution of that how somewhere there will be a job there will be a job for you somewhere you know so uh, uh. Welcome to Student Podcast Hazel Boy Savage T. Uh, today, guys, I'm going to talk about um, uh, raising why students uh, drop out in universities. Um, so, I think this video is going to help so many people who want to go to varsity and who are already in varsity. So, I'm going to talk about these reasons because of i want student or, or or young people to know and parents as well to know about uh these reasons because of i think uh they are going to help them in future uh and present so i have nine reasons why a student drop out in university uh, number one is financial reason one of the major reasons that students drop out is because of financial struggles the truth is varsity is expensive um, from tuition fees to textbook rent grocery and more the cost re really do add up when preparing for university it is easy to only plan for the institution's fees without realizing all of the other costs of getting tertiary education you see varsity we all know is expensive yes now we have nsfas but at the end of the day nsfas is not helping all of us uh, some they are struggling as we we know that we are aware of that and before I go ahead with this day away the um our our topic so our reasons so i i i on the second episode i will be um inviting one of the student commanders from university of uh, uh nelson mandela university nmu so that uh i think um uh, as 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 a com as a student commander commander he will try to explain to us about uh the, the this thing of uh nsfas because of i see a lot of students they are struggling and they, they they at the end of the day they are coming from poor family so their background is very 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 low so they they end up uh thinking of dropping out de-registering so and we don't want that because of when the student drop out it means our unemployment rate as south african is gonna go high and the uh, inflation rate is gonna go to six percent as we don't want that uh, at the end of the day so this the second uh, reason is work and family co commitment um correlated to financial issue student often drop out due to the conflict between their studies, job, and, and, and home commitment. Many students have to work as a as, as part-time job to keep up financially with their degree. The demand of the job then affects their ability to commit to their studies. We know that some of our students, they go and look for part-time jobs. Then at the end of the day, you don't have time to study. Then you struggle 
with your studies end up like thinking of um let me just um drop out and focus on uh, getting some meal so once you add once you add different families commitment family commitment over and above that many students are unable to cope if the student is unable to figure out how to manage the various pressures it often lead to them lead, leads them no longer being able to study as i i i, I said how to avoid dropping out due to work and family commitment if you are heavily commit committed with studies work and family make sure that you have the capacity to do so Pi parato sorry guys um then you can also speak to your employer as most as most jobs will allow for study study leave to give you extra preparation time around assignments and test dates asking for help is important as many students have support centers and even have daycare and other facilities to help you balance your your busy life yeah. that was the second reason uh why students uh, drop out from university number three is not prepared academically you know, you see so if you are not prepared academically so you will have like you will just argue with your mind and like, try to find a solution but at the end of the day you will decide you have your own choice i don't know if your family will try to put you under pressure but at the end of the day you are on your own so uh the academic demands of university are far more difficult than school if a student is not prepared for this jump it can lead to them struggling to keep up with the work and passing their courses we have seen that uh, we have friends who uh, we came here first year but we are no longer with them they decided to drop out we know that um, in school a teacher is there to keep you accountable with your work and to ask any questions you have they are far more involved in your learning there is a university lectures are no longer are, are, are not going to teach you how to learn but rather they will be explaining in the concept which you have to figure out how to learn yourself you see so our lectures they are not there to keep us accountable so they just explain and move on so if you don't have a textbook they don't care you have to buy a textbook you have to make sure so but if and as far as like now they are not there for you they are not keeping you accountable so that and so that you can afford to buy a textbook so at the end of the day you will struggle to to find a solution so number four social life at university um we know that social life at university when you arrive at university there is a new found freedom you no longer have your, your parents keeping you accountable or teachers disciplining anyone that acts against the rules of their school at university you are treated like an adult you see so you, you can go to drink come back late you are with friends the whole day or you are doing anything like you have free life you have freedom so so you it's, it's always like that many students are not prepared for this new freedom and begin to because of at home we know that like when you come back from school then you go home our your parents will guide you then now we you have to do this clean after that do this and then after you will go and have fun for at least that period of time then you don't they will tell you that don't come back late so you see so here you have freedom no one will tell you many students 
are not prepared for this new freedom and begin to over do it in the social aspects of the university experience this often include an over use of alcohol and other drugs when this over indulgency happens students naturally are unable to keep up with their academics and other stresses of university life you see. so we know that um when people when when students receive their allowance or money from home or their parents and their money then they want to go out they want to go to the beach some some they want to go to uh, tavern pubs they want to enjoy some they don't drink they just go to mall and and and, and buy um this thing um clothes so they are always like focusing on 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 the on those things and like so they form a competition to each other you see so you end up like you are no longer like concentrating on your academics so your life is like you, you want to socialize you want to compete with others so you end up like losing focus um so here's the solution of that how to keep your social life in check the main factor in keeping your social life in check is to learn to say no if you know that you have an important test in the week you will need to be able to say no to social event so that you can study when when you learn to say no it will help you say yes when being social will help you and no when it won't uh, so if you want to keep your social life in check make sure you you know how to say no so that's the solution learn to say no because of you guys i know so this is a student podcast please subscribe guys um i just want to 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 fix problems that we are facing as a student at the universities so this is the first episode and the next episode i'll be inviting a student commander comrade um so that uh, he will give you the the solution of all this thing and and his opinions as we want to resolve everything um so number number five choosing the wrong course that's another problem um understanding that you have chosen the wrong course can be a very good reason for stopping your studies hmm. That one people used to say, yo, I don't love this course, yo, one, two, three. So I've I've met um so many students, especially girls, will say like um I don't like this course, one, two, three. So I don't know because of you're the one who applied. No one forced you. No one forced you. So you have to make sure this one i'm sending this message to you guys who are still in high school to be aware of this thing when you apply and you know that um there is this course you love and you would like to to study please take your time and make sure that you apply for that course so here yeah, most students start planning for their studies from grade 9 and at that age there is still a lot that someone needs to learn about themselves you understand so don't just choose or take a course then but you are not sure and you, you know that you you you're still young and you might change your mind so yeah try to avoid that um university is a great place is a great place to learn about yourself and if a student discovers that they are studying the wrong degree it can lead them dropping out 
which is something that we don't want is the solution of that how to avoid choosing the wrong course when deciding what you want to study you should spend time thinking about and trying to understand what you enjoy and will be happy doing it every day avoid following the pack or picking a degree for the sake of it make sure to look into what you are passionate about and interested in and decide it and decide what to study according to that Fortunately, there are variety of economic opportunity in variety of fields. So if you study what you enjoy and work hard, um, there will be a job for you somewhere. There will be a job. There will be a job for you somewhere. You know. So additionally of that. Um, I want to add on that if you are unhappy with your degree but want to avoid dropping out you can often change degree especially in in first year chat to the ad admin department or student advisor at university to see what you you need to do to change degree that way you avoid dropping out and get to study what you truly want to and i want to add on this one again this one i've met a lot of students struggling with this one um and we have students they always like trying to change a course after their first year and they don't find a solution of that please please i'm sending this message to all the universities and colleges uh but i don't know about college because i i don't have any experience about college but uh, at university please admin try by all means to teach student how to change the course because of they 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 try and, and 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 send emails but the admin of the those departments they just decide to ignore the 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 the, 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 the emails of the student and student end up like oh I, I don't no one respond my message no one is giving me feedback so i might just go see because of i don't find the solution of this so please be aware of this thing so and help student and and as next week we are going to i'm going to be with this guy so i will ask him and beg him to 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 help student and to look at this because of we we are we are trying to find a solution and help student and our gener and the next generation at least they will find things like being easier for them unhappy the, 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 this one is number six unhappy with the university even this one um student always like they want some they want I don't know you guys want flats or you want to see beautiful people or you want to see i don't know what but students they're unhappy with the university so i don't know is a peer pressure or but okay there are times when a student when a student is just unhappy with the university they are at this is actually another reason people drop out that isn't necessarily a problem hmm? i don't understand that because of students they are unhappy with the university but you might find out that everything is good the student is not struggling with anything funding academically um the environment 
themselves, accommodation, everything is good, but they are unhappy with the university. Often a student is better suited to an alternative way of learning or will rather start working straight away. It all depends on what the student needs. Okay, so I understand this one. Some they are like, okay, so it's not because of the university, everything is not good there, or it's because of like this person is like maybe he or she need money. So like they, they, they don't see the importance of like studying anymore so they just unhappy with the university i thought maybe is that is this one of like you may find out that this student want to go to uj this so wara wara. so yeah then um if this is a reason that you want to drop out make sure that you are truly unhappy with the facility as a whole and if you see as a whole it's not not like you want to go to uh, NMU, like maybe you are studying at TUT, now you want to go to NMU, but you don't have reason, valid reason. So, yeah, this one. Then, um, if this is a reason that you, you want to drop out, make sure that you are truly unhappy with the varsity as a whole. And if you can't change your immediate environment, if not, and you know what you want to do outside of the university then this is not something that need to be avoided by a student good another reason seven personal emergencies there are times in life where tragedy strikes and 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 you have to change plans according to that when personal emergency happens, this can often lead to student dropping out of university. Unfortunately, you can't plan for most emergency. And so in this in cases, it is very difficult to avoid dropping out due to personal treatment. So this one, I'm not like judging anyone. It's life. So, so how to avoid? I don't know. Let's hear from the solution of... Uh, personal emergencies how to avoid dropping out because of any emergency if you do if you do absolutely want to avoid dropping out you may not need to drop out if you plan to return in six to twelve months as you and um, you are allowed to apply for a leave absence okay i didn't know about this one learn I don't know about this one. Leave of absence. Okay. It's called L of okay. It's A O A. Yeah. So L O A. And L O A allows you to pause your studies and pick them up again when you return. You heard me. I'm not gonna repeat this. You heard me. Student may go to every okay this one now sorry or maybe i should uh try to 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 repeat this one because of it's important right if you you do absolutely want to avoid dropping out you you, you may not need to drop out if you plan to return in six months 12 months as you are allowed to apply for a leave of abstinence absent so l or A allows you to pause your studies and pick them up again when you return. Down go. Um, the pressure of number nine, the pressure of being a first generation student. <clears throat> this is quite interesting. Okay. Um, in South Africa, many first years are the first ones in, the, in their families to have the opportunity to study this means that, that the university experience is completely new these students are unable to learn on their parents experience and talk to them about the university challenges 
Um, I was the first person from my mother's father's side to, to come to university. So, yeah, no one taught me, no one shared the experience with me. I just went to social media and check and learn from nowhere. <laughs> yeah, so you see, so how to deal with the pressure of being first generation student? If you are first gener first generation student, the key is to find support structures, find fellow students. So I forgot that one is you can go to maybe you search the the university, the name of the university you are going to, and then try to communicate with a returning student and find out the solution, uh, and then try to to. To squeeze in, then you will at least avoid to to avoid the pressure of being first generation student, fellow student going through similar experience, chat to a university counselor. I didn't do that, but but I'm advising you to do that, and and ask your lectures questions and thoughts. Take advantage of the support structure that your university provides. Then let's hear from this one. There is, I think it's the solution. Get support and avoid dropping out of university. This is the solution. Most of the reason that students drop out of university come down to either a lack of finances or a lack of support so if you want to make sure that you are not one of those students make sure to get enough support for academics and social support see what is available at your university and reach out to people who can help you yeah so these are the these are the reasons and you guys Please, please, as a first generation student, please share the information. Don't just be someone, ah, they will see themselves like, please share the information. This is the new world. This is the new world. We are no longer like, so please share the information. Um, I'm just asking you to do that and share the information i'll be sharing the information as well okay if you maybe you think you are lazy to tell them refer them to service t the student podcast refer them tell them that the student podcast is there then um go and watch you will find everything there everything is there Everything is there, like so. Academic support this is the last reason of um, why students drop out from university early or late. I don't know, but as long as you drop out, this is the one of the reason. Academic support, as mentioned. You have to start managing yourself when you, you get to university. However, in some cases, universities do not seem to provide enough academic support. Students may go to every class and work as hard as they can, but still fail modules. So you can just go to class and read, do everything, write assignments, end up failing the module end up being failing the module so what's the problem you don't know so here is the solution how to get academic support at university if you are struggling with academic support at your university there there are a few things you can do one is to chat to your classmates 
I also do that. So this one I think is very, 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 very important. Talk to your classmate. So maybe you can just if you see that okay, this person we are doing the same modules, same course, then okay, it you can maybe try to form some uh, a friendship um then um from there you will you guys will try to communicate and if you struggling with something then you will try to discuss about it and find a solution um some of them may have a better understanding of the subject and may be willing to help you out don't be able to ask for help you can also speak to a lecture for extra support most of the time they show be willing to help another option is to see the different resources and assistance that your university provides it can be that a lack of academic support it also a lack of knowledge of resources available mm, cool. so guys um without wasting any time this is the nine this is the nine reason why students drop out from universities parents should should watch this and and try to support their student no not student they are children so some reasons for student dropping out are completely acceptable and actually good while other reasons should be rectified with that in mind here at nine of the main reasons why south african student drop out of universities and i want to go back to the financial reason so you know guys this one is very 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 missing or like i just want to send this message to the ministers parents anyone anyone who's who knows that um or who might be like okay let's let me take this like okay maybe try to to put this in this way um now like there are these people who um my friend i was like they are financially stable at home but maybe their child are still young you see so or he or she this child is still young he or she child is still young and like you your your your, your brother or sister's child is in university then you are good please try to at least help because of i don't know but students are, are really 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 struggling and i just want to send this message to you that uh you guys i think i'll put this as a number 10 reason reason why your, your 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 children drop out you guys put pressure to your child because of now you send the the, the the child and now you've had that oh they are receiving an assessment from me there you are the one who, who like Asking your child some money. 
Hey, send your money. Hey, send your money. We want to buy this and this and this and this and this. But you know that they don't afford that. But you are just pressurizing them to do that. Then this thing is end up like forcing your child if she's female, a girl, going to date lecture or date someone, sugar daddy or anyone. Who, who will like interrupt his studies or her studies you see so then she will concentrate in being like in like being in a relationship with somebody who already like have wife or or, or husband then this thing disturbs the child from studying. So please let's avoid demanding something from something that you you know that this thing is not okay. Like I'm gonna like demand something from my child that I know that will affect he or she studies like academically started to stress and putting her pressure to do something that she wants not not aware or thinking about in her career or studies so please 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 i'm begging you to treat your child or children good and support them I know we are not coming from same background but or similar but we we understand that you might think like the NSS money can like change his or she like her life his or her life and in the point of like she will end up or he end up like sending money back at home i don't think that's the um right or good good thing to do as parents so support the child and forget about and as far as money leave her make sure that she or he finishing or study studying his course then he, then when he graduate then he will go to work and then is where they will find the solution of 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 everything that he was studying So without wasting time, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Next episode, I'll be with the student rate.